dare to imagine what it actually might be like. Um, and that is part of the challenge that we have. Imagine what it is like when you have a situation that will break down the normal business as usual structures, decision making processes and everything else. And if you can imagine that, then you can start to do the preparation to manage it more effectively when it occurs. You'll never get 100%, you won't even get perhaps even to a C plus pass, but you will be able to manage because of the systems, processes, rules and tools that you've put in place and the culture rather than in spite of it. Providing the opportunity to simulate what might happen and to um, provide people with the context that they're going to need to keep in mind when they get into a crisis situation is important. I think preparedness is crucial, making sure that we've thought about what might uh, come, come ahead of us and also being prepared to trust your processes, trust your instincts and trust what you know becomes really important in a crisis. The importance of relationships trust and confidence, both in a business as usual setting, but those things become intensified in an emergency. So where there are potentially conflicting interests, say in a commercial situation between different providers, actually finding the things that you have in common and starting to build trust, identifying even some ground rules if that helps about saying how we'll work together, so that there is that sense that it's not putting people in uncomfortable situations, but it's meaning that when the chips are down and if something goes wrong, you know that you back each other. Even though there might be commercial or individual interests at play, it means that you can stand united and that is a, is a really core part of the public trust and confidence that the, then you gain from that.